Oh, beautiful Florida. Not a cloud in the sky, except for all them fucking clouds. I just got done jogging about 15 minutes ago. I'm sitting out here reflecting upon my life. Everything's changing. And when it gets all cloudy out like this, when it gets all overcast, I get pensive and I start thinking. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to kind of go over what I've been doing for training over the past month. I'm not programming myself at the moment. For those of you that don't know what programming is, that's the weight that I'm using, exercise selection, frequency of lifting, etc. I'm not doing that myself right now. I've actually hired a coach to write my programs for me. The name's Alex Viata. He's a great guy. He likes beer. He's basically a badass motherfucker. So I thought I could entrust him to help me get stronger and become overall better at everything. And so far it seems to be working out. In the past, I've pretty much followed a linear progression style of training. That's the standard way to approach weight training. And it, it does work, obviously. Or it wouldn't be so standard, it wouldn't be so popular. But what Alex has been having me do is work up to a daily max on all of my uh, my main lifts, so the squat, bench press, and deadlift. And then from there I'm doing assistance exercises that are developing weak points throughout the movement. For instance, floor presses on my bench press, box and pause squats on the squat, stiff leg deadlifts, things of that nature on the deadlift. It's all coming together combined with some higher repetition stuff like 30 rep front squats to make me stronger than I've ever been before in a state where I'm getting to the point where I'm overtrained a little bit. I'm, I'm getting kind of burnt out. I almost lost my motivation to train earlier this week and it kind of sucked ass. But I took a couple days off more than I normally would and uh, I feel a lot better. I just had a really great deadlift session yesterday and like I said, I just got done jogging. And you might ask, why am I jogging? Well, because my coach is telling me to. This is something that's become really popular among the strength community, among powerlifters. I don't know why, personally, now that I've kind of crossed over, but avoiding doing pure aerobic work. Everyone's like, well, if you want to do some conditioning, why don't you just lift weights faster? And while that's all fine and dandy, and you should do that, you know, you're not always preparing for a competition. I'm 11 weeks out from uh, the Treasure Coast Classic in Port St. Lucie. I don't need to be in peak condition for powerlifting right now. So I'm doing things that don't really have anything to do with powerlifting. And I think that's going to build overall work capacity so that when I start removing those elements from training, or at least reducing the volume of those elements, that I've got somewhere to go. I've got somewhere to add powerlifting specific training. That one change adding in aerobic work seems to be improving my recovery and allowing me to hit maxes every week and allowing me to, to do a lot more work with the powerlifting stuff. So I've done higher volume weight training and it's just broken me down and I haven't been able to recover from it. I mean, I'm 27. It's different than if I were a, a teenager doing this stuff. I'm hoping to crush some shit come August 24th at the USPA Treasure Coast Classic in Port St. Lucie, Florida. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to be competing with knee wraps, so hopefully I'll start doing some more work, some more heavy work with knee wraps soon. I'm just kind of getting used to them at this point because the last competition I did, I didn't wear them. Well, thanks for listening to me rant, and I'll hit you up with some training footage tomorrow because it's speed bench press day. Crazy animal, punch a crazy animal. Yeah, yeah.